Hello and welcome. I'm NoFit42 and in this episode I'm going to unbox my E3D V6. Okay, so behind me right here we have a box that says E3D online on it. And if we just move that out of the way, I have actually already unboxed it. Here is the stuff. We did get a pack of Haribo. Because <laughs> Haribo. Um, there is the pack here which has the... Um, connectors in it and all the power that leads and stuff. There is a card with uh, please read documentation for use. We have a PTFE tube because I need one of those for my printer. And then we have the metal assembly. Um, now I'm going to put this together real quick um, and then I suppose we'll get on with putting all this onto the printer. Now the when I looked at this earlier, the connector here does look a bit like it might be too big for that uh, assembly unit. I'm not sure if that is the case or not. Um, but yeah, I suppose I'll find out very soon. So let's assemble the head. Okay, welcome back. So I have the wiki page open here on the laptop in front of me. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, yeah, so on the wiki it tells you uh, to choose the type of print head that you have or that you've purchased. Uh, I have selected the E3D V6 uh, standard, not the light version because that's, this is what I have. Um, it says the assembly should take no more than half an hour. Please follow the instructions on this page carefully to ensure that you assemble the hot end correctly. So yeah, what I'll do today is I'll install this hot end. So we have here is the heat sink. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have this little kit here, this has the uh, the heat block, the pipe between the top and the bottom. Uh, it has the, the print nozzle, uh, there's a screw, there's not a screw, there's the thermal heat sink compound which allows the, the heat to change uh, from one to the other. You have the, the lock-in mechanism for the top of this I think, the top of the heat block, uh, and that is about that. The other little bag in here, that is all from that bag. This one contains two Allen keys, uh, three screws, a small um, Allen key plug kind of thing, uh, and a washer, and some other assorted screws as well. That's good. Um, I don't think I need to do, oh, I do, I do, I must need to. In the other bag here, the one with the blue, and the red cable. If we open this up, let's pull this out, shall we? Now, this is one of the most interesting parts for me. Good, uh, because we have mo oh, shit. modular um, heat uh, heat checker for the for the uh, hot end block. So it has a little plug on it. So what you can do is you can remove the head if you need to and either clean it, unblock it, all that kind of stuff, um, which would be good. You have a little uh, it's a hot end sock. So this allows you to, yeah, well, you put this over the hot end and it should stop it from, well, it should help the heat from, from leaking out of it. It's got a little E3D on both the front and back and, you know, it, looks, it does look pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I've already looked at that. What we have here is a uh, pipe thing. So this is uh, where the tube is going to go into and the tube will get locked in there and I think this is supposed to go into the other block, um, the the feeder part of this. So we'll look into that in a little bit. Uh, we have here the modular fan with a little plug on it. Very good. Uh, very useful and stuff. Uh, we have here two red cables with, um, let's see, oh, they're both the same. Okay, that's cool. So the, the one of these would be for the fan, the other one for, that's interesting. Oh no, they are both the same. One of these would be for the fan, the other one would be for the heat check. Um, I thought there might have been like a label on it or something, but I don't... Yeah, no, there's, not, there's no labels on this. 
I'm going to have to do a proper um, a, a proper surgery on the printer in order to install this stuff. Um, <clears throat> this one here is just the heat cable. Now, this doesn't detach, it seems. This is just, it plugs in. Uh, and it has two fairly solid looking pins on the end, which uh, I'm guessing is to allow it to carry decent current. Um, I'll install this as it is, because I don't want to be messing around with the cables that we already have, because uh, obviously they, they were from cheap parts, uh, cheap and very potentially dangerous, well not, not potentially dangerous parts, but cheap parts, you know, like cheap parts you can never really rely on them too much, uh, even though it has done me quite well for a very long time. So. Okay, so that is all done now. Uh, just a quick rundown of it. All you need to do is get the heat block, put the screw in the full way at the bottom, uh, unscrew that by a quarter to a half turn, um, put the thermistor in, screw up the little nut at the bottom, um, put the heat block in so it's centralized on the uh, heat block, uh, and then tighten the screw up here so that that is uh, very slightly warping on the side, um, the metal for the heat block and then what you want to do is get the thermal compound stick it on the screw that goes up the middle tighten the uh, heat sink block down onto it um, and then you can try and tighten the, the head up then um, and then with the fan screw the fan into the plastic and just snap that plastic on I've gone for all these going the same way so it's a bit neater um, and then you want to get the PTFE tube jam that in the top as far as you can lift the black bit up very slightly and put the blue clip underneath it and that should stop this tube from moving and um, well and, unless you pull it really hard then it'll probably pull out a little bit or something like that but yeah you don't want to do that because you'll damage the tube anyway so uh, that is the assembly of this block now what I need to do is put this into the printer and I <laughs> I am actually gonna wait until next video to do that so this is how to put the uh, this is how to put the the head together next video I'll put it onto the printer because that is gonna be another big task as well so yeah sorry about splitting this down I hope it doesn't seem like a a bit of a a cop-out or anything like that but yeah on Saturday I will be back and I'll install this onto the printer unfortunately I'm out of time today so yeah so don't forget to like and subscribe to uh, my channel hit the bell if you can like it if you do dislike it if you didn't and I will see you in the next video.